Hey, you guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. And this is going to be a fun one because I'm going to confess something on camera that only like five people in the universe know. <laughs> yep. Even my family doesn't know. My dad doesn't know. My mom doesn't know. So Dave and Sharon Ramsey, if you're watching this video or listening to this podcast, which I think you do at times, <sighs> here it is. I'm going to be talking about my Tesla. Mm -hmm. This car purchase was like a running joke in my family because I just always thought that they were just so cool. I love the idea of an electric car because why not? You know, I, I'm not like a huge save the planet kind of person. I mean, we, we compost sometimes for our garden, all the things. So it's not like I can be on this high horse of that. I just think they're really awesome. I think they're really cool. And George Camel, Ramsey personality, has one too. And so now it's become a joke at work that George and I have Teslas. But I will tell you, I think the purchase is totally worth it. Totally worth it. But the beginning was not great. The Tesla purchase, um, yeah, again, it it was a it, it it had some issues. So we'll talk about that here in a second. And it hurt my pride because. I mean, my family just made fun of me. They just think that I'm crazy owning an electric car and I wanted to prove them wrong. So I never wanted to share this story with them <laughs> because I didn't want them to feel any level of satisfaction. Because the truth is I haven't owned many cars in my life. I bought one at 16. I had to save up and pay for half of that car. It was called 401 Dave. So as teenagers, we had to pay for half of it. Uh, but that car took me, I guess, probably through four years of life. I got another car. Uh, through college, that was 10 years in that car. And then I bought another used little BMW for a few years after that. And then I was like, you know what? I'm in my mid thirties. I'm on baby step seven. Winston and I have been doing this for 12 years. And I would love to purchase like a really fun car, like a car of my dreams. And that was a Tesla, it was. And it had crazy back orders because of like during all the COVID stuff. I mean, it was just like a mess. So I was like, I know it's gonna take me forever to get this thing but I really do want it. And I think one of the biggest reasons is I just love stirring the pot and with my family because they always are like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy, electric cars. I don't know why they hate it so much, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get a full on electric car, not even like a hybrid, I'm going all in. So stirring that pot, it's just kind of fun. And Winston and I, we, we looked at it, we're like, okay, there's pros and cons to this. Uh, it's a nice car, let's be honest. So we're like, hey, we're gonna be putting some money away for this and we're gonna have to prepare for it financially. We have some stuff in savings, sure, but we wanna be smart about it. And all I would say, when I bought it, it was amazing. And it still is amazing. I mean, it legitimately feels like you're in a spaceship. Like you get in and everything is so simplistic. There's like nothing going on but the screen, the dashboard, there's some stuff. And then I have like the yoke steering wheel. So it's like half of the steering wheel with some buttons right here and that's it. Like, that's it. I get in my husband's truck and I'm like, there's like 30,000 buttons everywhere. Not the Tesla, no. Very sleek, very simple. It drives itself. It's play, you can play games on the thing when you're parked. Netflix, I mean, it's just like, it is a computer. I mean, it's just, it's the craziest thing. It is the craziest thing and I love it. It's fast, it's fun. So while the Tesla definitely had some high highs, there were some low lows. Yeah. And, um, the truth is the Tesla broke down on me three months after I bought it mm -hmm. by myself on the interstate. Yep, I'm driving down the interstate and all of a sudden the screen goes black and this red like exclamation point starts flashing and, and it was like beep, 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 beep. I mean like the scariest beeping you've ever heard. And it said, pull over immediately, pull over immediately. And I'm like, what the crap is happening? What is happening? I mean, I'm freaking out, I get off an exit, it starts shutting down. Everything starts shutting down. And with the Tesla, everything is electrical, even like getting out of your car. You can manually do it with this lever under the door, but like it's a button you press. Like everything is all right, because it's a computer. It's all it is, it's a computer. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening? I had to call Winstings. So I was like, I don't know what to do. And they have roadside assistance for Tesla. So I get on the app and, and yeah, everything's on the app, even when you buy it. You buy it through like, like we, I used Apple Pay. Is that not crazy? I put money in our account and you like double click it and like order your car on the app. I mean, it's just the craziest thing, craziest thing. So on the app is where like this 
person comes on the side of the road and by the time they got there, everything had just closed. It's like the, the car just died. Like nothing, you couldn't get in and the door handles are even like, uh, you know, electric, like they go in and out. So like I couldn't get the door open, I mean, nothing, nothing. They couldn't even open the hood <laughs> to like click it in the tow trucks. They had to put it on skates. I mean, it took forever. It was terrible. It was so dramatic. And I'm like, this was a new car. So I start to like get pissed because I'm like, I just bought a really nice car. Like this isn't supposed to happen. So long story short, they like redid something in the computer and they were like, you're good to go. Well, about 30 days later, it was like a month later, Winston couldn't turn it on in the garage. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I bought a lemon. I absolutely bought a lemon. I took it back to Tesla and they ended up it was like firmware, it's, something happened. They replaced the entire thing <laughs> and put a whole new computer system in and they were like, you have a brand new car, everything should be fine. And ever since that day, it has been totally fine. But it hurt the pride, it hurt the pride. So I never told anyone that the car <laughs> completely died on me because I want everyone to believe that a Tesla is great and it is great, it is great, but oh, it hurts the pride a little bit. It hurts the pride, yep, but the old Tesla, you know? Not everything can be perfect in life. That's just what I tell myself. And I really don't regret it at all, because some people are like, oh my gosh, are you so so mad you have one? I'm like, no, I I love it. I really do. You save on gas. Like It's like three to $4,000 a year on gas. Uh, you know, it, it's awesome. Now, it is a luxury, I get that, but they actually can be budget friendly. So here's what's wild, is when you look at recent studies and now articles coming out that is proving that electric cars actually can be budget friendly. The Tesla Model 3 now starts at $43,000 and that does not include the $7,500 tax credit that Americans get for buying electric vehicles. So that brings it to a total of $35,000, which is $5,000 less than the average new vehicle sold in the U.S. See, it's amazing. Now, the conspiracy theory part of me, I know I've read about stuff and like if everyone goes electric, the grid goes down and we can't use all the electricity in the world. I get, yeah, all that might happen. And I'm not saying that everyone needs to drive an electric car, but it's something that I love. And if it's something you love, I just wanna encourage you that you can find one that is budget friendly. You can even find a used Tesla, get it even cheaper. George did that and his is amazing. So I talk about all the time that you need to take control of your money and create a life you love. That's what it is. So sorry, dad. I know, I know you electric cars just really get you, get you in that truck heart of yours, but I love the Tesla and it's great and it's awesome. So if you have a big expense that you're working towards, whether it's a new car or a vacation, whatever it is, and that there's people in your life that you love and disagree with you, you keep marching forward you go forward towards that goal. Don't look, don't look at everyone else and what they're saying. If you want that thing, you go for it. So make sure to share this video with a friend who maybe loves Teslas. <laughs> loves the future is what I like to say. That's what I get in my car. I'm like, this is the future. This is, I'm just, I'm never an early adopter of things ever. George Camel, always. Me, never, except for this. I feel like I'm on the, the front end of history. So it's amazing and budget friendly, you guys. You can make it budget friendly if you wanted it to. <laughs> so remember to take control of your money and create a life that you love.